Okay, we need to jump back into some sort of like workout system because I haven't really been doing it. I've been staying active, but I haven't really been like working out per se, you know? So let's just jump right back into that and uh, try to get a little uh, more physical movement, you know, that isn't just walking, being at work, etc. Let's do a little bit more of that. So I'm going to be following the insanely highly viewed video on YouTube of the Lucy Wyndham Reed. Is it Reed or Red? Lucy, Lucy Wyndham Reed, maybe. It has like 146 million views at this point and it's like a five-year-old video. Like that is insane. So people must be watching it. People must be following it. They must be loving it. So I'm like, let's try that shit out. It's basically just, you do this little seven minute workout every day for a week. And uh, it says you can lose about one to two inches. I'm assuming that's like total body, but also takes into consideration what you're eating, of course. So I don't really know yet if I'll be changing things up. We'll see how I feel after this video, or if I'll just kind of continue doing what I'm doing and see if, you know, see what happens when I, when I don't really change my diet that much. So here we are in my little echoey dog room where we're going to be doing our first day of the seven minute workout and see what happens, see how we feel. I'm pumped, I'm excited, I feel energetic. So, plus seven minutes feels good for something that I can probably do after work when I'm tired. Oh, I didn't do my warm up yet. All right, she said that I can just jog in place for a minute. I have a timer now it's for one minute. So let's just jog in place for a minute here. Just do this. I can just run around, run around in circles. <laughs> and trip over the floor. 30 seconds down. Now we're doing dance moves. Ow, my foot. I need to wear shoes, but I'm not, I don't have any shoes in the house right now. One minute warm up complete. <laughs> oh, my armpit. How is this doing anything? Oh, frick. I hate these. That was day one. I'm dead. Let's do our measurements just for fun to see if we notice any difference. Okay, so she said to measure around your waist and the widest part of your hip. So let's do that. I'll try to wear the same outfit on the last day when we do our comparisons. I am dizzy right now. 34, 45 and a half. Can you see 45 and a half on the hips? I already forget what the measurements were, but whew, so we're gonna be doing this for seven days and then we'll check in at the very last day and do measurements again and see if she was right, okay? And also I weighed myself this morning too, wearing this whole outfit, just so we can do like a comparison on that as well. It's time to weigh ourselves just for fun. I can say that like, I don't think I'll be changing up my diet too much in general. But the thing is when you start working out, you kind of just like, even if you're not trying, you like subconsciously start to eat a little bit healthier. Maybe that's just me, but it's definitely something that I've noticed in myself. So I don't know if other people do that too, but that's kind of how I operate. So we'll see. I'll let you know what I'm eating and stuff and we'll go, we'll go from there. So I'll see you tomorrow. There it's me, it's day two of seven minute workouts. My butt hurts today. Got those sore glutes and a weird feeling in my upper back and neck and I don't know what that's about, but you know what? For the first time in a very long time after a workout, I didn't get a tension headache for the next three days straight. So that's cool. Feels nice, loving that, which is great. Also, I'm gonna be the first to say it. 
I don't like seamless leggings. I don't like them. I don't like it. I don't like this weird little like gusset. You know what I mean? I don't like that. It's uncomfortable. They're harder to get on. Maybe they're just too small. Maybe I need a bigger size. I don't know, but I don't like them. I prefer my leggings that I have that have a seam, you know? Not a big deal. Not a big deal. All right, let's just get this workout done with because I'm hungry and I wanna eat my cherry chicken salad wrap. Okay, let's do it. I'm so glad it's only seven minutes long. I wish I had put my bangs up. I kept like fogging up my glasses. In terms of nutrition, this morning for breakfast, I had, I made myself some like pumpkin brown sugar oatmeal at work. Nice, you know, high fiber meal. And now I have a cherry chicken salad wrap to eat for lunch, which I just bought at the grocery store. So it's probably not like mega healthy, probably full of like mayonnaise and stuff, but that's gonna be a good little treat. Here's my little wrap that I bought. I already took a few bites before I started working out because I needed some motivation because I was really hungry. Here, I'll show you the side that I haven't bitten into yet. It looks pretty good. You know, just chicken salad, some spinach, a little wrap with like dried cherries in it. How delicious. It's good. Just wanted to show you what I was snacking on. See you tomorrow. This is the hardest part, getting home from work and just I'm dead right now. I'm dead, I don't have the energy. I don't wanna work out. Like working out is the last thing that I wanna do right now. The only thing that is going to get me through this right now is knowing that it's only seven minutes long. Eight if we include our little one minute jog around the room warm up. Today's diet has just not been great. Not been super on point. Started off with just some apple oatmeal. So that was good. But then I was like, let's have a muffin. So I had a lemon poppy seed muffin and then I had a pretzel. So I'm just full of carbs and probably that's why I'm so like tired and sluggish right now. We will persevere. I'm gonna make things real easy on myself. I'm just gonna keep wearing my, my work pants and my t-shirt that I wore to work today, but I'm just gonna put on a sports bra so my titties are not just flying about. By the way, panache sports bras, the best. Pretty good sports bras and they go on sale on Amazon a lot for just basic colors. So keep an eye out if you're in the lookout for a new sports bra. Setting that timer, doing that warm up. Warm up time. Panache sports bra is great. Can't even feel my boobs moving. This is awesome. was a really good one you know like even though I was so tired and didn't want to do it at all and I felt like I had no energy and like it was just gonna be a really bad one somehow after my one minute warm-up I was like I'm into this now so that was cool <sighs> didn't feel like a waste of time but you know how can anything be a waste of time if you're just getting up and getting active it's spaghetti day I'm gonna have some freaking spaghetti it's gonna be so good I made spaghetti Spaghetti, spaghetti. It's just like a ground beef sauce. Grass-fed ground beef, fantastically wonderful. It was on sale. Grass-fed ground beef with some like, I don't know, stuff you put into, in, into, to, into a sauce. You know, you know what I mean? Sauce stuff. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to show you my spaghetti so that I'm being truthful and honest with you about things that I'm eating while I'm doing this little seven day challenge. I also just killed a tiny bit of tiramisu, like two bites. I'm having a real Italian night here, okay? This is a leftover little baby bottle of wine that we got last year in a wine advent calendar. And I was like, let's put a little bit of that in the sauce. So I did, and then I had a sip and then I felt drunk because I don't drink that off. <laughs> okay, that's it for now. See you later, bye.
This is the new hotness. One minute jog around the house in a figure eight as a warm up, but I keep getting dogs in the way. <laughs> I got like 10 seconds to go. Get out of the way, bro. Fucking traffic jam. Look at that. Just stand in there. <laughs> okay, one minute more, I'm done. Hi, buddy. You my helper today. What is this, day four? Felt really good. <laughs> I like this workout. It's so short and nice, and I don't overly hate any of the workouts. I feel like she balances it nicely, where like you do, can you stop huffing right by the mic? Bro, what are you sniffing? What are you doing? I feel like she balances the workouts really nicely, so you do like, I don't know, like super, super intense ones, and then like less intense ones, or maybe I'm just not doing those ones properly. Like the one, the little like side bends, that doesn't really feel like you're doing that much. But I still like it, because it still feels nice. But yeah, I enjoy that the way she's balanced, each move feels really good. So done and done day four. But I was really good this morning. And by really good, I mean like I didn't eat 800 croissants and cookies at work. I did have a scone, I had a scone for breakfast and then I had some peach yogurt after. And then right before I left work, I had some Weetabix with milk and banana. And oh, that is so good. I love Weetabix. Give me a cold soggy cereal. So good. See you tomorrow for day five. Hey y'all, it's day five of seven minute workouts. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> also, it's attention headache day and I just managed to bring that baby down from like an eight to like a four. And now she's going back up to a six. It's cool. Bless you. Love how short it is, really good. And not too hard on the boobs if you're too lazy to put on your sports bra. You know, it was all right. The warm up was the worst part. Feels good, feels invigorating, feeling inspired, in invigorated, health, healthed, in, in healthified. So what I ate today was, oh, I had, I had a lot of treats today. I was not, I was not a diet lady today. Today I had a, did I have a scone this morning? I might have started my day off with a scone. And then I may or may not have had an almond croissant. And then I think after that, I had a little, like a hollow roll type thing that I put some like chocolate filling in the middle. So maybe I had that and then I got home from work and I ate like a tiny amount of whatever was left over the spaghetti. And then I had a couple bites of fruitcake, sue me. So was the diet on point today? Not really. Will I have a salad after this to make up for it? Sure, why not? Pesto Caesar salad, because I bought it a couple days ago and it's probably gonna go bad, so I'm just gonna eat that. Just eat whatever I want. <laughs> okay, see you tomorrow for day six. Workout time. I thrown on my outfit for the last day of seven days of seven minute workout. Do some stretches and then 
we'll do measurements. Okay, let's measure hips first. Um, literally the same, I think, 45.5. Well, actually, no. Like, does that look like it's too tight or anything? What's around my butt? We're equal. We're at 45. Can you see? 33 and a half? Really? I almost don't believe this. 33 and a half, maybe? Is more be maybe more accurate? That's really hard to measure. If we're judging by what I weighed right before I started this, I was the exact same. But unless I'm just measuring wrong, half an inch off um, hips and waist is pretty good. And also just feeling great, feeling, feeling better. So I'm gonna get tidied up and then we'll have a little chat about how the week went. But I decided to wait a couple days to like, to gather my thoughts about the seven minute workout for seven days. And it's a couple days later now. And I actually just finished doing it again because I wanted to, because it's seven minutes, it's fast, it's easy. And I think I already pretty much summed it up really well throughout the video. I think it's great. It's a lot of fun. There's good variation in the movements. Like you're not gonna be building big muscles or anything with this workout, but it's a really, really great, easy, short way to just get you off your ass moving, get your blood pumping. And what's bad about that? You know, what's bad about that? <sighs> I know I say this all the time. I'm a broken record. I'm tired after work. I don't want to work out after work, after standing and lifting heavy things for eight hours. I don't want to work out. So this being seven minutes was just, just so good. Seven minutes. I can handle that. What more can I say? I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really, really fun. It kind of makes me feel motivated to, to find other activities or like workout movements that I can make my own little version of a seven minute workout. And just so it's seven moves, one minute each. It can be anything you want, really. Just seven minutes. It's like made for people like me. <laughs> So perfect. So my weight did stay the same throughout it. It was like literally the exact same to the decimal point. <laughs> so that was uh, not really surprising because I didn't make a huge effort in order to like clean up my diet and things I was eating. I still was just eating what I kind of wanted to. And is that really the best stuff that I should be eating? Not really, no. I probably don't get enough veggies and definitely not enough protein. And there was no difference in the weight, but there was half an inch off my waist and half an inch off my hips, which I think is pretty great for a week of feeling like I'm doing nothing. I'll take it. I love that. We love this. Seven minute workouts for life, you guys. Especially considering I just did it again, like for fun, because I wanted to, because it was short, sweet, and easy. Love it. Love this for us. So I guess that is basically it. That sums it up. This was my week of doing the seven minute workout from Lucy Wyndham Reed. I had a blast. Uh, highly recommend. You should try it out. It's a lot of fun. That's, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>